Sarver Freight has updated their digital torque adapter. So we'll take a look at the newer generation and compare it to the old. And like normal, we'll run it on the tester, do a thousand cycles and see if the accuracy holds. Older generation here, blow mold case, came with a certificate and operator's manual there, half inch drive. It does come with two adapters, half inch to a quarter and half inch to three eighths. Overall, pretty simple setup here. I reviewed it in a previous test video. Five buttons, display, and one LED. Now with the newer generation, you now have three versions. So the newer versions, same style of case, no adapters. Now they offer it in three eighths, 5.9 to 59 foot pounds. So the half inch drive housing wise is the same size and it ranges from 25 to 250 foot pounds. Three quarter here, quite a big difference as you can see in size versus the half inch and three eighths with a torque range of 150 to 750 foot pounds. Just like the previous generation here, all three of the new generations use two AA batteries. Torque units, there are five on the three eighths and half inch, just like the previous version. Definitely a lot easier to read display there. Backlit, almost three times the size. Other upgrades are this has a single LED where there are three LEDs on the side here to give indication of when you're getting close to that torque. And we'll see that of course on the tester. But overall size, well, yeah, it's almost identical, same operation, and you have the option of between peak and trace mode. It looks like a lot better interface compared to the old generation with the buttons actually spread out in this configuration. So we're gonna go ahead and audit like normal. All right, three eighths, so we gotta start with We're set to 50. Again, this range in the green is plus or minus 2%, but we'll run the calculation for plus or minus 2% later on. and 250.
So now it's time for things to get a little bit interesting here. This tester only goes up to 600. So we're gonna do an audit for 600, even though this will go up to 750. And we'll see what we get here. So we're gonna go ahead and do 200, 400, and then 600. So here you have it on the initial audit of the 3 8 half inch and 3 quarter. Now I'm not going to be able to do a thousand cycles with this one. I just don't have anything set up for it. Uh, that would be quite a bit because I normally, like you know, do half of the max. So 375 foot pounds is, well, that's quite a lot. But I'm going to go ahead and cycle the 3 8 and the half inch a thousand times each at that half rating. And we'll come back, we'll re-audit those and look at the data. Okay, so I did a thousand cycles. We'll go ahead and audit this again. So here's that audit data before, and you can see the 3 8 and also the first generation is a little bit out of that plus or minus 2% on the bottom range, but mid to high end, it's right around that 2%. Definitely when you factor in the accuracy of the tester there, which is plus or minus 0.5%. Now the half inch and the three quarter are well under that plus or minus 2%. When we look at after a thousand cycles, again, I could not do the three quarter. There was no way I was gonna be able to cycle that a thousand times. But for the most part, we've seen pretty much the same deal. The three eighths didn't do quite well at the bottom end, but mid to high end, it was within spec. Same for the previous generation half inch. And again, the new generation half inch there, well below that plus or minus 2%. So what's my final takeaway here? Well, yeah, they are sub plus or minus 2%. And for the price, that's about the best I think you're gonna find on the market for this type of digital torque adapter. Definitely when it comes to three quarter. And we weren't able to go all the way up to 750, but overall it tested quite well, 600 and below. What's interesting is the previous generation kind of falls in between 
of the current generation, three eighths and a half inch. Now, if you're okay with that torque range, I would definitely recommend picking up the previous half inch. We know from the testing that it's accurate and it's $25 right now versus $50 for the half inch and $40 for the three eighths. So it really, to me, depends on if this torque range works for you. But of course, the interface, the backlighting, definitely some benefits to this new generation of torque adapter. If you're looking for more information on the older version, how to navigate the menu, stuff like that, please check out the link below to my previous video on this. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you found this video useful and I'll catch you on the next one.